Kendrick's Sad Story Eddie Kendricks was a soul singer who rose to fame in the 1960s as the lead vocalist of the legendary group The Temptations. Born on December 17, 1939, in Union Springs, Kendricks grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, where he formed his first singing group, The Cavaliers, with childhood friend Paul Williams. In the late 1950s, the two moved to Detroit, Michigan, where they joined forces with Otis Williams, Melvin Franklin, and Elbridge Al Bryant to form a vocal quintet called The Elgins. The group signed with Motown Records in 1961 and changed their name to The Temptations. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. With Kendrick's distinctive falsetto vocals and the group's impeccable harmonies, The Temptations became one of the most successful and influential groups of the 1960s and 70s. They released a string of hits, including My Girl, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, and Papa Was a Rollin' Stone, and became known for their sharp suits, intricate choreography, and smooth stage presence. Kendricks quickly established himself as a standout member of the group, contributing lead vocals to some of their biggest hits, including The Way You Do The Things You Do, Get Ready, and Just My Imagination, Running Away With Me. He also co-wrote several of the group's songs, including You're My Everything and Just My Imagination, Running Away With Me. However, behind the glitz and glamour of their success, Kendricks was struggling with personal issues that would eventually lead to a sad and tragic end. One of Kendricks' main struggles was his relationship with the group's management and their record label, Motown. Like many artists of the time, Kendricks and his fellow Temptations had little control over their music and were often at the mercy of the label's executives. According to Kendricks, Motown founder Barry Gordy Jr. would often pit the members against each other and encourage them to compete for the spotlight. Kendricks also had disagreements with the group's other members over the direction of their music. In the late 1960s, as the civil rights movement and the Vietnam War dominated the news, Kendricks became interested in writing and singing songs with more political and social themes. However, other members of the group, including David Ruffin, were more interested in maintaining the Temptations' image as a smooth, romantic group. The tension between Kendricks and the group's management and members eventually led to his departure from the Temptations in 1971. Kendricks went on to have a successful solo career, releasing hits like Boogie Down and Keep On Truckin', but he never achieved the same level of fame and success as he did with The Temptations. While Kendricks' departure from The Temptations was a difficult time for him, it was just the beginning of his personal struggles. Despite his professional success, Kendricks' personal life was far from happy. He married his high school sweetheart, Patricia, in 1961, but the marriage was troubled from the start. Kendricks was reportedly a heavy drinker and womanizer, and he and Patricia had frequent arguments and separations. In 1973, Patricia filed for divorce, citing Eddie's cruelty and extreme and repeated mental and physical cruelty. She claimed that he had physically abused her and threatened her life, and that he had also engaged in extramarital affairs. Kendricks denied the allegations and countersued for divorce on the grounds of extreme cruelty and adultery on Patricia's part. The divorce proceedings were bitter and protracted, with both sides making accusations and counter-accusations. Kendricks eventually agreed to pay Patricia a settlement of $100,000, as well as $1,000 per month in spousal support. He also gave her custody of their three children. After the divorce, Kendricks continued to struggle with personal demons. He developed a cocaine addiction and reportedly spent large sums of money on drugs and alcohol. He also had financial problems, owing back taxes to the IRS and being sued by his former managers and record label. In the late 1970s and early 80s, he was diagnosed with lung cancer, which he believed was caused by his years of smoking. Despite undergoing treatment, the cancer eventually spread to his brain, and he passed away on October 5, 1992, at the age of 52. Kendrick's death was a tragic end to a talented singer who had struggled with personal and health issues throughout his life. However, his legacy lives on through his music, which continues to inspire and move people today. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.